Good morning. All right, so I uh, terribly sorry I meant to make this video before I took my um, my TPI system apart off of this engine. Um, this is a 1989 uh, Chevy L98, which is basically nothing more than a Chevy 350 roller engine that they put in the um, the uh, Corvettes. What stands it apart is it's got a little bit bigger cam. Um, it's running the TPI tune port injection system. It has aluminum heads, forged crank, things like that. So it's just a little bit beefier of an engine. Um, I was making this video though because uh, it's a little bit on the tricky side taking this uh, intake apart. So for anybody that's a beginner or has never done this before, um, I thought I'd just try to make uh, a quick video on how exactly you take it apart correctly. Um, like I said, I definitely should have done this video before I actually took it all apart, but, you know, that's alright. Um, so if you ever go on the internet and see what the TPI system looks like, you have the main induction here, and then you have the two, uh, or the, the two induction runners, um, they go off the sides right here, so, and then they bolt in right down there and go into the actual intake. Um... In between the injectors and that happens on both sides and they are offset so these ones are uh, up forward a little bit more and uh, these ones are uh, set back so the way this works is um, it goes on like that so you got the two bolts down here uh, some bolts down here the ones up there now you don't have to take it uh, I don't believe you have to take it completely apart from the main induction piece, but I did. It's just easier that way. Uh, so what you're going to do is the first thing is there's going to be a couple bolts holding on on the top piece here uh, on both sides. So I went ahead and uh, disconnected those. They are a they should be a star pattern bolt um, if you are using or working with a completely uh, stock and original setup. Um, there might be a vacuum hose or two that you have to disconnect from the main uh, piece here. Uh, this uh, sensor uh, right here, you'll definitely have to disconnect. It runs to the bottom here. I think it's a uh, it's a temperature sensor, uh, but you just disconnect that, and it all stays with this piece. That's pretty cool. Um, obviously, disconnect this. Um, it, which you should be disconnected anyways if you took the engine out. Um, so once you do that, then you're going to start disconnecting your uh, the bottom of the runners from the actual intake. Now it's kind of tricky because um, if you see this one here, oh sorry, that one uh, that bolts to this back runner, uh, you actually have to get it from this side of the engine, so you're going to have to get an extension and go through here. Um, there's another one like that. Uh, let's see, I believe it's... Where is it? There's another one that you have to like go through the opposite side. Um, where was it? I believe it might have been over here too. I'm not exactly sure. But just look around and you'll see it. Um, but you actually have to like kind of cross through uh, once or twice on some of these. Um, <clears throat> my only advice is make sure that you have a really good set of uh, uh, these bad boys, really. Um, master tamper resistant Torx bit sets. I use these, which were horrible and bad idea on my behalf. Um, because they strip out super duper easy and I actually already made that mistake right there so now that I have stripped out one of the main intake bolts which is the last one I got all the others done I now have to drill it and use an easy out to get that out but you know poor design on GM's behalf for using a uh, star shaped bolts but uh, not the best idea in my opinion, but hey, I didn't design it, so. Um, also, this right here, I think this is the EGR, uh, which is a very stupid system they ran on the TPIs, I think. But uh, it's easier if you disconnect these T-bolts 
and you just pop that out so you can get to this one um, much easier and then after you're done just put it back on here like I did um, I highly recommend what I'm doing is as soon as I get this intake off I will be actually putting the TPI system all back together on the intake manifold um, just because some of these bolts like right here one's a little bit longer one's a little bit shorter um, I just want to make sure that I don't lose everything so that in the event that I do end up reusing this TPI system sometime in the future, um, there won't be any question as to of what goes where and how. Um, everything else can, can pretty much stay bolted on though. Um, you know, the less you take off, the easier. Oh, I did forget to mention this. Alright, here's the other one that runs through. This is the other bolt that you have to get that runs like through here right so you're gonna have to like go underneath here with an extension to get to it now here's the trick this little doodad right here was bolted on right there in the to the back of the housing of the uh, thermostat so what it did is when it sat right there it was blocking it directly your direct you couldn't get to it so you will have to take that off Mine was completely disconnected for some reason, so I just literally ripped the son of a bitch off. But, uh, like I said, if you're planning on keeping your TPI system in, like, perfect shape, you should probably not rip it off. But you will have to take that off, and, uh, that's a tricky little bastard. But, uh, this the same way, and then you just have to get it out from underneath the runners but you can leave it connected to your fuel rail here which is just one less thing that you have to disconnect um but once you do that your uh intake literally like you said like i said you just get all the bolts you know like you would any other intake uh disconnect them smack it a couple times with a rubber mallet if you need to um or get a good hold on the uh thermostat housing and that joker should pop right up and that's really all there is to it. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'm hoping I can make some more videos on this. Uh, just because this is my first TPI engine. And um, I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there that have firsts with TPIs too. And um, I've learned a lot as I've gone so far. I've actually been taking it out of this uh, 85 Firebird right here. So uh, making a 383 stroker out of this puppy. So... If you guys have any questions, definitely hit me up. Um, if y'all want me to make any more videos uh, on this, I will, and I plan on it. Um, I also hope to do a video on uh, how I got the engine out and how I'll be putting it back in because, believe it or not, it's a little bit more tricky than you might expect. Um, these Firebirds are pretty tight for space, and you do have to be a little bit... Um, a little bit... I guess intelligent if that's uh, the right word not really but uh, to figure out how to get this joker out it took me a little bit but I finally got that son of a bitch out but then again I did pull it with the transmission which some people don't do but anyways um, thanks for watching guys like and subscribe and uh, hopefully I'll have some more videos up soon